every Rockman needs a roll. Which is why today, we're looking at the Navi team that proves a good defense is the best offense. Because good lord does a ton of healing get annoying in battles. Roll and her operator, male Sakurai, take the spotlight in today's video. Before we start, I have a disclaimer for this video. Usually, I try and capture all variations of a character in my videos so you can see all about them. However, Roll is kind of a big character overall. While Battle Network bases most of its cast off of the classic series and a few X characters, Roll is a bigger one that plays a major role, pun intended, in the classic series. And due to the video length, I think it's best just to split them up. Not to mention, there's also Roll Casket. So with that out of the way, let's jack in and take a look at the heroine of this Battle Network video, Roll EXE and Mail. As a main character to the series, Roll appears in all the Battle Network games. She's a supporting character to Mega Man, but often being in need of saving, and thus becoming a plot point for many scenarios. Despite her being captured left and right, Roll is able to hold her own in battle and is above average in the sport of net battling. She's always there to cheer on Mega Man when needed, and offers support in battle through the use of her battle chip. Roll also keeps track of her operator's daily agendas such as keeping her on time for her piano lessons. Mail is a cheerful girl who is very punctual. She is always there to try and keep Lan on time, but we all know that's never going to truly happen. She's best friends with Yai, Lan, and X, as the four of them are always getting into all sorts of shenanigans. It's very clear from the start of the series that she has a crush on Lan, which eventually does blossom by the end of the series, where the two do end up getting married. Until then, though, Mail enjoys going out to new and upcoming events and places, having an adventurous spirit. As I mentioned, with Roll keeping her on track with her piano lessons, Mail also writes her own music and favors an electric piano. She also seems to enjoy upcoming technology, having been excited for the new bubble wash dishwasher that may have come with a few issues. At the end of the series, as I mentioned before, Mail does end up marrying Lan and the two have a child named Patch. Meanwhile, Roll and Mega Man have parts of their data mixed to create a Navi for Patch, Mega Man Jr. Frankly, I think it should have been named Quint, but I'm not the writer. In one of the side games, Battleship Challenge, it allows you to take Mail and Roll as the main characters, competing in the Battleship Grand Prix, with the hopes of being able to hang out with Land. While leaving school one day, though, a storm rolls in, and Lan gives Mail his umbrella. She offers to walk with him, but he says that would look lame and then runs off, and eventually catches a cold. From here, Mail takes to the tournament and focuses on winning to give Lan the prize, which was a rare battle chip. The two eventually win, and they even continue on the takedown base. Outside of the games, the two share many traits. However, we do get to see a bit more into who they are. In the anime, we see Mail, now called Meilu, being more bold and brash. She has no issue clonking Lan or Dex upside the head, or getting heated quickly and making demands, as well as having a major resolve for net battling. She goes hard, thinking ahead with the battle often, which goes into something else she's known for in the anime, apparently being a chess expert. In fact, she's so good at chess, she actually beats Tora in a chess net battle which is a form of net battling that has its own rules. Yeah, it's a little different. We're not going to go into that. Roll here has the same resolve for net battling, having no fear to jump into the fray at any moment, and the two even beating high-level net battlers. While she's no slouch in combat, she can also hack firewalls. She's considered a beautiful navvy, as we see other navvies, such as Gutsman, swoon over her. However, she only has eyes for Mega Man, and even shows jealousy when Medi enters the show. And of course, the anime has the fan favorite, for reasons, Dark Roll. She gets corrupted by an evil battle chip, and turns on Mega Man during a team-up battle. Here she has a tail and a whip, which is, uh, yeah. Speaking of chips, though, 
it's time for a word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Higsby's Chip Shop. You need a chip? Higsby's is the place to go when you need to win a battle. Old Man Higsby travels far and wide looking for rare chips, so you can always expect to find something exotic. I personally always shop at Higsby's, and he's come through for me time and time again. You need a bubble wrap? Only 4,200 zenny. From standard to giga, Higsby carries it all. And if he doesn't have it in stock, he can get it in via his chip order system. Don't just take my word for it. Listen to these testimonials that were 100% not paid to say good things. Higsby's chip shop is great. After I put 10 whole guard A chips in the special chip trader, I was skeptical that it was worth it. But after it gave me a guard B in return, I knew it was worth the investment. It's exactly what I needed. Guard chips are so hard to come by, you know? Thanks, Higsby! I love shopping at Higsby's. He has a bargain bin that is always full of top tier chips for low prices, like Barrier Star and Color Point Star. Uh, plus, when I don't know what a chip does, he offers an incredibly vague description. Thanks, Higsby! So hit up Higsby's Chip Shop and use our easy to remember affiliate lotto code to get 20% off your next purchase. The manga takes a slightly different turn for Meilu and Roll than the anime. Much like the games, Roll is often seen needing saving, but serves as a strong emotional support for Mega Man. While she doesn't net battle a whole lot, she is able to think quick and acknowledge when something has gone awry, such as detecting that something was off with Mega Man when his dark counterpart posed as him. Meilu, however, is constantly supporting Lan from the sidelines. She is there to keep him on track, but also has absolutely no chill for when it comes to calling Lan out on his attitude. The two work well as a team, but have a history to get violent towards one another. Many years later, thanks to the Legacy Collection dropping, we got a look at adult Meilu in the manga. She appears to be a stay-at-home mom, and is very supportive of her son Patch, for whom she attends his net battle tournaments to cheer him on. Roll is no stranger to net battling. She's far from the strongest, but she also is far from the weakest. We see in Battle Network 4 that she wants to prove to Mega Man that she isn't helpless and forces him to play tag with her. After he, yet again, saved her from some bad dudes. Her speed is her strength, and later on when you do battle her in the tournament, she can be pretty tough. Frankly, I find Roll SP and the free tournament role to be the toughest Battle Network 4 boss there is. But that's just me. Going into battle, we can see that Roll has a few built-in weapons, as well as a few select chips she seems to enjoy. First and foremost, the attack we see her use from the first three games is her Roll Whip, which is her rapidly stabbing, or smacking, foes with her socket, prongs, it's not hair, so uh, I guess let's just call them that. She can then also recover HP for herself or another, which is usually used following up the stabby stabby smacks. Aside from prong smacking, she has a projectile weapon known as the Roll Arrow. Much like a Trident battle chip, she fires off an arrow from a bow buster. The Roll Arrow, however, has an extra property. It can delete battle chips one is taken in the battle. With those two built-in powers already, she can also summon viruses to aid her. It is unknown if this is her calling in viruses of her own accord or a bleed over from Battle Network 3 with the virus battle chips you could get. Perhaps a reimagining of how they would work or just an update to them. It could also be a call out to an ability that she had in the anime which she only used once. She's able to summon a heart and I guess debuffs the enemy with infatuation so that they work for her. Speaking of summoning hearts, she can also make some sharp hearts that she throws out like knives in the anime. In Battle Network 4.5, one of her charge attacks is creating a barrier, so I would say it's safe to assume that that's usually a default chip for Meilu. As an exclusive to the anime, Roll and Meilu can perform a cross fusion. This can only be done in dimensional areas, which are fields generated where Navi data can then manifest in the real world. When performing cross fusion, the two combine and take on a new look where Roll's hair goes reddish pink like Meilu's and a long pink dress is formed. 
The two can use battle chips on the fly that are preloaded into the PET, and favor using the roll arrow. Always on the sideline cheering on, but not afraid to jump into the fray. Mail and roll are always there for any battle network action. And that wraps up this basics on video. For now I pass the biggest question about them onto you. Is her name better as Mail or Mailu? Special thanks to Coleman X and Twitch of Reploid Revo for their testimonials on Higsby's Shop, as well as Sprigween for the artwork, and Megaquint for the gameplay footage. Till next time, rock on!